Confidence is increasing for the chance of a large-scale winter storm this Friday through the weekend. So if you're in one of these highlighted areas, that includes you. Friday across the Great Plains, it begins to form and it moves across the Mid-South and the Mid-Atlantic by this weekend. Not only is there a chance for really heavy snow, we can't roll out ice or even sleet. And that just makes for really messy travel. So if you live anywhere from Tulsa, Oklahoma to the Outer Banks in North Carolina, this is going to impact you. We're still a couple of days away, so a lot can change. But as of Monday the 19th, here's what it's looking like. Cold weather is going to be another really big story again this week and truly through the end of the month. But I know what everyone is really looking at, it's going to be the heavy snow concerns and also where that line is going to set up for ice and freezing rain. This is the latest that's been highlighted from NOAA and NWS. It's more so cutting off that line across Tennessee in the northern half of North Carolina and then we begin to see mixing almost right along I-40. South of that expecting ice and freezing rain but again that can change. It all depends on the setup of the area of low pressure and the area of high pressure. So here's a look at the minor winter weather impacts. This is for Friday and Saturday. It's really focusing on the plains over into Arkansas and the mid south as well for the western half of Tennessee. And this is almost guaranteeing that you're going to at least see those minor impacts. Airport delays are going to be possible as well as just treacherous roadways those slick spots, that type of thing. And then as that storm moves across, so does the threat. It moves now to the eastern half of Tennessee, to the Carolinas, up to Virginia, and even Maryland. Minor winter weather impacts, but it's still there. So let's check out the setup because that is a lot of very strong wording coming from NWS and NOAA. Especially this far out, you don't see that a lot with winter weather. So an area of low pressure begins to push up moisture from the Gulf. This is for Friday afternoon. As we go into Friday overnight and temperatures begin to fall thanks to a high pressure, that's fun in that cooler air, we start to see mixing all across portions of East Texas, over to Oklahoma, and even Arkansas. Even into Louisiana, Mississippi, it's going to be possible. This is Friday night, and this is messy. This is not something you really want to see. By early Saturday morning, as temperatures have really been able to fill in, you get a lot more of that mixing. That extends over into Dallas, Texas, even Longview, Texas, all the way to Nacogdoches, Houston, rain. Mixing continues across Arkansas and Louisiana by early Saturday morning, and then even snow, you can see where that line is setting up, Ross, Tennessee in the northern half of Alabama. This is really going to be what we need to watch over the next couple of days. So the pattern is favorable. What we're going to have to figure out the next couple of days, of course, it's going to be those snow totals, ice totals, but also where is that line setting up at? As of today, the latest GFS run does have that right along Tennessee and then those Gulf states. But this is showing by Saturday night and even into early Sunday morning, I mean, areas along the East Coast could be impacted from this. So now I have this switched over to Euro. So this is a different model, but still long range. And what's a little wild is the first model I showed you isn't the more aggressive one. Euro is actually trending more aggressive with the system. This is Friday night. So things are coming together a little bit slower. Cold air has a little bit more time to get here and the moisture is just kind of slower on the draw. Overnight Friday and early Saturday morning, we still see mixing right along Oklahoma and East Texas, but it doesn't go as deep. Ice chances really stop along Dallas and then it continues to move into the other Gulf states. So Louisiana in the southern half of Arkansas over to Mississippi and Alabama. This has heavier snow setting up Saturday night across the Mid-South. So for portions of Tennessee, this is really the model that if you want snow in Tennessee, Kentucky, North Carolina, this is what you're going to hope really comes to fruition. Similar rain ice line. It's got freezing rain and ice for the northern half of the Gulf states. Meanwhile, the mid-south and the mid-Atlantic are getting some of the heavier snowfall on where that line is setting up. But the thing is, with winter weather, it just takes one degree to change all of this. What catches my eye is that the Euro and GFS are in agreement with where the freezing rain, the ice, and the snow line really set up. Here's what I will say a couple of days out about this potential major January winter weather for this Friday through Sunday. It looks likely. And again, I do not say that lightly. There's pretty solid agreement in timing and almost where that line sets up in both GFS and Euro. I'm not giving you totals. It is way too soon to look at totals because they're just not going to hold any weight. Then in mind, if you do see snow totals when it's this far out, it's just really hard to trust that. What you can really do today is recognize patterns. There definitely is a pattern. There's model agreement. That's a really big deal. So the best thing that you can do today is to just keep an eye on this. Know that there is a really solid chance for a lot of people to deal with impactful weather as we head into Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That in the back of your mind. And as fun as it is to focus on the snow, I am very concerned about how problematic ice chances can be 
Because for anyone highlighted in the pink, which does include Dallas all the way over to northern Mississippi, Alabama, Atlanta, and almost all of South Carolina, that is where the freezing rain risk comes into play. And freezing rain is so dangerous. So I know it's fun to think about the snow chances, and a lot of us have really solid snow chances. The best of the season yet, but we can't underestimate this risk. I know it's easy to say, but don't let winter weather and snowfall take up all of your attention. Cold weather is really going to be a big concern because once the system passes, really cold air is going to fill in behind it. The latest temperature outlook, and this goes basically through the end of January, has us well below average. For the Mid-South, there's a high risk for hazardous cold weather late January into the start of February. And for the rest of the South, there's a moderate risk. The Arctic blast that fills in behind this winter weather risk is also something you just can't let your guard down about. It also opens a concern for refreeze. For any precipitation or ice or freezing rain that does fall, it is going to linger. But back on the snow, I know this is what y'all love to talk about. The timing, the track, and the strength remain uncertain. I know that's not what you want to hear, but it is the reality of meteorology this far out. The pattern's favorable for both heavy snow and freezing grain, even some ice mixing in. So this is something you have to keep an eye on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Right now, it does look like I-40 is actually going to be the divider for the heavy snow compared to the freezing grain. That can and likely will absolutely change. Too early for totals. As soon as I feel comfortable getting them to you, I will. I will pass along any new updates as I have them. I'm hoping to post every day this week leading up to the storm because this is really trending to be something big. So for more updates, please subscribe. Don't forget to like, comment with questions. I do see them and I will answer them. Until next time, love you later. Bye. Stay safe and warm.